Sneaky Goes Bad tonight. Tonight we have Descent OS or Decent OS. So it's either going down or it's well hard. Okay, this is Descent OS 1.0. A uh, guy mailed me, he said, Can you have a look at my distro that I'm making? I want to make it nice for me and it's based on Ubuntu. Okay, so it's based on Natty. It's using the kernel 2.6.38 12 and comes with GNOME 2.32. And you're going, oh yeah, it looks pretty clean and nice and super duper, which it does. Yeah, very nice indeed. Look, nice and clean. Old school gnome. A lot of you will like that. Oh, an awful lot. A bit like Debian today, basically. <clears throat> so what you get, basically, bear in mind this is not finished at the moment, okay? It's not finished. He does want to do a bit more work on it. So give him a bit of time. So, comes to Procero, of course. Docky, as you can see on the sidebar there. Gnome do. Guacamanal, so I'll do that. Guacamanal. I'll just press F12 to use me. Guacamanal. Okay, that's pretty good, isn't it? So anyway, and internet. Oh, sorry, missed graphics here. Gimpy comes with standard and Shotwell and G Thumb Image Viewer, so it's all standard. But you do get Dropbox. You do get Firefox as your web browser. Weber as standard and Pigeon and Skype and Thunderbird and Transmission and XChat for your XChatty stuff. Right under Office, we get LibreOffice, LibreBase, and all the Libre stuff. So that's all there. So it's out of the box, you'll be able to use it. Right, Apps, Slingshot. I'm going to come back to that in a moment, okay? It's a short video, by the way. Under Sound and Video, he's left in Exhale. Yeah, right, yeah, I can live with that. It's not my favourite music player, but I'm not sure what he's trying to do here, but he's trying to make something for himself that you might think other people might like to use. That's pretty good. Get the Elsa Mixer. Pit TV for your video editor, well, it does the job, doesn't it? Basically, sound recorder and VLC media player. You also get your places and your system as you normally would do under GNOME. Look, it's all GNOME, GNOME of a GNOME, 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 GNOME. Additional drivers, as you can tell, it's Ubuntu, that's pretty good. Software sources, Synaptic. Oh, thank God for that. Synaptic is still here. I'll open up the system monitor, okay? And as you can see, it's not really doing anything really, considering it's based on Netty. I was quite impressed. So yeah, that's okay, it's not using Ami Swap. Only 162 megabytes of RAM, so it's quite low RAM usage. I'm pretty happy with that, okay? Right. To the other bit. <clears throat> if I click on apps, this is this slingshot thing, okay? Look what we get. Oh my god, oh look at that. It's like Nomi 3. Come back to us to haunt us, blimey. Actually, I haven't got a problem with Gnome 3 or Unity. A lot of people have. So this might be a halfway house for some people. So they get the, the old style gnome and the new style. So that's all here, as you can see. Get Prezero. I'll just go to accessories first. You get Prezero and Docky, as I've already said. Gnome do, by the way. You get your help and whatever else. Standard games, okay? Standard games. But he's trying to keep the ISO quite small, so that's okay. As I said before, graphics. As I said before, internet. All in other. A slingshot, of course and just sound and video. It's all there. Now, I've not been able to find any keyboard shortcuts for it at the moment, okay, which was a bit of a bummer, but on the whole, it looks pretty good. The only thing I would say is because when you use the GNOME 3B, where it says Descent OS on the desktop, it actually misses it up a little bit, if you know what I mean. So he's got to decide what he wants to do and where he wants to have his logo. It may be better off going in a corner, a smaller size, or at the bottom, so it doesn't interfere with your actual desktop if you're going to use this version of it, okay? So that's all I've got. That's the only bad thing about it. And I've been using it a couple of days. It's reasonably stable. It is based on Natty, so it should be. And this is what a lot of you will be doing in the future. When you've downloaded your Ubuntu or your Debian, you'll go, oh, right, I want to remaster my own. I want to make my own distro. And it's not very difficult, really. You can use Remaster Assist, by the way, to do it if you really want to. Or there's other ways of doing it. Well, a lot of ways of doing it, to be really honest with you. Lots and lots. Obviously, I've got Docky over here anyway. All standard stuff. The fonts, <clears throat> not too sure on them, but hey, I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. I've put a clock in there because I, I really do like a clock, like an analog clock, because I'm old and can't read all the time. So two sticks pointing in directions tells me what time it is. So Descent 1.0, what do I think? Oh, it's a good start. So he's going to do a bit of work on it and hopefully we'll get a proper release and you'll get the option of using this with the Ubuntu base instead of Debian. I do like Debian, but it's just missing some things sometimes and can be a bit complicated for some people. But for a new user who's just come straight over, say, from Ubuntu, and they don't like the look of it and they want more traditional look and feel, like this, like a lot of you will do, this could be the baby for you when it's finished. 
okay what am i going to give it out of 100 well you know it's not too bad what am i doing 70 percent i'm going to give that because you've still got to do a bit more work on it and some bits and bobs like the thing here in the middle so yeah 70 percent is cool for me sneaky oh, let's go and have a drink of water bye bye